Hi students, this is Fanny. Welcome back to my channel. Now I am going to discuss uh, the basic concepts of uh, parabola, the basic definitions, what is what uh, in parabola. Okay, let us start uh, the class. <coughs> parabola, the standard form of parabola, this is standard form of parabola. y square is equal to 4ax. I am going to explain what is what in this parabola. So, let us see, this is called vertex of the parabola and this one is y axis and this one is x axis okay and the line which passes through the vertex this is called vertex this is, and the line is called axis of parabola axis of parabola okay this line is called axis of parabola and this is vertex and here is a fixed point that is called focus S yes, represents focus and here is a point P, variable point on the parabola and this one is, this line is called L, we can call it as directrix, this is called directrix, directrix, this is the distance SP and this one is PM, perpendicular distance and here the ratio SP by PM is called eccentricity. SP by PM is called eccentricity or eccentricity. <coughs> SP by PM which is equal to 1 for the parabola. Okay. Now SP is equal to PM. Okay. And this is called vertex. This is focus and this one is variable point. And this one is PM perpendicular distance from point to the directrix. And this one is called Z, which is called foot of directrix. Foot of directrix. Okay. Foot, Z is called foot of directrix. This distance is equal to this is one. These two distances are equal and which is equal to A. Okay. And for parabola, these are said to be chords. These are said to be chords. Just chord of a parabola. By joining any two points of the parabola, it is called a chord. And you see, this is a focus. Yes, the chords which are passing through the focus are called focal chords. These are just chords and the chords which are passing through focus are called focal chords. Focal chords. Okay. And the chords which are perpendicular to the axis. This is called axis of the parabola and the perpendicular chords, the chords which are perpendicular to axis of the parabola are called double ordinate, double ordinate, okay, remember the word and the double ordinate, you see, this is focus, a perpendicular, that is a double ordinate which passes through focus is called latus rectum this is called latus rectum latus rectum so these are the four important definitions one is a chord what is meant by a chord just to joining two points on the chord this is just a chord if a chord passing through focus this is called focal chord okay when a chord is perpendicular to Axis of parabola, this is called double ordinate. Okay? A double ordinate which is passing through focus is called latus rectum. So, these are the few definitions we have to know, must and should we have to know these definitions from a standard form of uh, parabola. If the parabola we can take in <coughs> another way, that is, suppose uh, we are going to take parabola like this. Okay? This is the parabola and this will be the vertex A and here is the focus S and this is called directrix L is equal to 0. This is directrix and let us suppose here is a point P. We can take anywhere point here. P is anywhere SP by PM. So PM, SP by PM or we can take P here also no problem and this is called Z. This is called Z which is known as foot of directrix. For this parabola, these are chords, 
these are cords and the cords which are passing through focus generally known as focal cords and perpendicular to axis of parabola here is this is axis of parabola is this one and one more point this is line is known as equation of tangent at vertex equation of tangent at vertex and one more important point is the very very important point is and you see this is parabola and this is latus rectum and this one is called equation of tangent at vertex etv and this one is l that is called directrix these three are parallel directrix equation of tangent at vertex and latus rectum ll dash equation of tangent at vertex and this one is directrix these three are parallel to each other and the distance from directrix to etv equation of tangent at vertex is equal to the distance between equation of tangent to latus rectum so these are the very very important points we have to know the uh, different definitions particularly from conics uh, these same definitions will be continued in the next uh, ellipse and hyperbola also okay we will discuss uh, the remaining concepts in parabola in another video right thank you students